Hey all, I'm at it again. Just gonna do an infusion on this uh, rudder for the Blanick. Done a little modification to the uh, catch pot. Put two valves in it. We're not sure whether they're gonna get blocked or we'll be able to clean them out if resin goes through. But if they block up, we'll just take them out and put normal valves in and keep one just for a bleed off, which is handy sometimes. Valves make it a lot easier when you're pulling the pulling the vacuum bag down um, so you can get the vacuum bag positioned a little bit of vacuum at a time and then turn it right up um, this is a core material I'm using the Soric I'm trying to get it close up there we go all little dots joined together with fibres it's pretty hard to crush um, the blue, blue plastic, and this mould is just straight PVA, um, so we can see what the finish at the end. See the raw Soric in, inside. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a bit of a video of laying it up. So we'll start that now. Okay, start laying this mould up. Put it slow down with a little bit of 3M. Um, just helps to keep the the cloth in the mould. Start with just a two ounce cloth. Sark.
stick these edges down. It makes it a bit easier when you're putting the bag on. You don't have to worry about keeping them held down. I've got the outside taped. Um, take your tape won't stick to the 3M over spray all that well. So I'll take that off before I put the tacky tape on. A few apply. I'm going to tape around the outside. It's really nice stuff to stick the bag down with, but it can be a, a nice to use. You can get used to it after doing a couple of parts. Touch the vacuum at this end. Now I'm going to slide this little tube over the end. Um, just helps to stop the the bag from squashing down the end of the hose and blocking it off. That's that. It's just a piece of a um, plastic T piece I just cut up. Put that over there. 